Good afternoon. If everyone who is able could please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Today, we are joined by members of the Green Bay Police Honor Guard who will present our nation's colors. Please remain standing until the Honor Guard has retired the colors and have exited the Crest Center Arena floor. Hello, my name is Clara Wellhouse, and I will be your Mistress of Ceremonies for today's event. It is a great privilege of mine to welcome everyone to Green Bay Southwest High School's commencement ceremony. On behalf of the class of 2018, I would like to thank you all for being here. I would like to extend a special welcome to the members of the district school board who have joined us today. In the audience, it is my pleasure to welcome the family members, friends, and alumni who are here to witness this event. In front of me, I want to welcome my fellow classmates and the faculty honor guard. Thank you to everyone for gathering to witness the commencement of Southwest High School's class of 2018. Good afternoon, I get the privilege of Introducing once again, Clara Wellhouse is our first speaker today. 
What some of you don't know about Clara Wellhouse is not, not only is she going to St. Cloud State and going to study biomedical, right? Biomedical science, but she also placed 11th in the Division I state and track and field meet in the 1600 meter, re or 1600 meter run and set a school record. Congratulations, Clara. Thank you, Mr. Bohm, for the introduction and also for your exceptional leadership at Southwest High School. Let's please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, alumni, family members, staff, I am truly honored to be part of this celebration. It is such a pleasure to share the room with countless amazing people as we graduate and close this chapter of our story. Parents and other beloved family, you're probably wondering where the years have gone. Not long ago, we were little kiddos, strapping up our Velcro shoes and hopping off to kindergarten when our backpacks rivaled our own height. Out of nowhere, we were teenagers, entering high school. We walked out the door for our first day, and we disappeared into the walls of Southwest with plenty of expectations to uphold. Staff, you have been with us since we entered the walls for the first time. We were immature, smelly, attitude-infused freshmen, probably obsessed with Minecraft. Now, we are slightly less immature, fresh graduates who are better at covering up our attitudes and have grown out of our Minecraft addiction and found Fortnite. As students of Southwest, we are lucky to have such an amazing support system of teachers and staff to guide and walk alongside us during the stressful period of our lives. I have been happy to make valuable friendships with such fascinating adults. At Southwest, we are fortunate enough to have people to care about us, our well-being, and our futures, as much, if not more, than themselves. Not only have you celebrated us at our best, you tolerated us at our worst. Students, today means something special to each and every one of us. To some, it may come as a welcomed relief, a breath of fresh air, a long-awaited freedom from the walls of a prison. To others who saw those walls as our home, it is bittersweet as we look back on the good times and the great friends. Our class has made plenty of those, and we've posted some amazing things on the walls of Southwest High School. It shows through the numerous athletes who have signed letters of intent and all of the trophies in the case. It shows through the impressive donations we've made through NHS and our impeccable amount of volunteer service. It shows through the traditions we've started, such as Jude Be Nice Week and more. We all have our own accomplishments to look back on and special things to remember that make us so proud to be Southwest graduates. For me, it is bonding with Ms. Stallo, grumbling with Mr. Heimerman, or laying in the grass with Mr. Terrian. For you, it may have been supporting the Troyettes, hanging out with Ashley in study hall, or singing the school song after football games. Over the years, we have built ourselves into the walls of our school, and that's what makes it so hard to leave. On the other hand, maybe you don't treasure me memories and relationships like these, but hey, you're still here today. Nonetheless, Southwest has shaped us into who we are. Southwest has seen us at our best, and at our worst, and given us an opportunity to be great. Here we are today, the end of high school. Our parents and our teachers are crossing their fingers, hoping that we won't screw it up. Yet if the past four years have been any indication of what the future holds, I'd say we are going to be just fine. It has been an honor to learn and grow with every single one of you over the years. This group of students warms my heart and gives me so much pride and I thank you for that. I am honored to be a Southwest Trojan and part of this superb class. Although it is said every year, this class is the best group of students yet. As the class of 2018, we know that we have set the bar very high. Our academic strength, our athleticism, our service, widespread talents and interests, all goes unparalleled. Class of 2018, 
we will now leave those walls and enter the next part of our lives at a time in history when our world is facing enormous challenges, but more importantly, at a time in which opportunities have never been greater. I don't have to challenge you all to go out into the world and become the best person that you can be, because if I have learned anything about you, my classmates, it is that you've already begun. However, it goes without saying no matter, that no matter how much you've done and what you've achieved, there is always more to do, always more to learn, and always more to achieve. So here's to us, to doing more, learning more, and achieving more. Thank you. Now, I am happy to introduce our second commencement speaker. She is the student body secretary and president of National Honor Society. Please welcome Regan Allen to the podium. Good afternoon, friends, family, and the class of 2018. For the next hour and a half, I'll be describing in minute detail every aspect of the past four years at Southwest High School. I'm kidding, just kidding. But now hopefully my three minute speech won't feel quite so long. Today it may seem as though we're done. And we are done with some things. We're done with mandatory classes, with taking a pass to use the bathroom, with dismissal by bells, and with having to always back into our parking spots. Some of you are done with school, now entering the workforce, ready to take action and begin the rest of your life. Some of you are entering the armed forces. Thank you for your commitment to our country and freedom. Some of you are going to continue your education at a college or university where you'll pursue a specialty. So it may seem like we're done, but in reality, we're only just getting started. You are not defined by who you were over the last four or 18 years. In fact, you're now presented with a unique opportunity. From this day on, you can be whoever you want to be. As I recently heard Mr. Bohm say, we all have someone new inside of us. You can shed any reputation you've carried externally or any doubts you've held internally. No matter where you go, you will go somewhere you've never gone before. But no matter the world you're entering, this is your opportunity to be the person you want to be. More confident, more caring, more courageous about the things, about standing up for the things that matter to you. You'll encounter obstacles and things will be difficult, perhaps more difficult than anything you've ever faced before. But you won't give up. You won't back down. As long as you fight for yourself, you will succeed. To all of us, no matter our future path, today is a big day. Today we celebrate our passing from one stage of our lives to the next. Today marks the beginning of the rest of your life. In the last four years, you've only scratched the surface of the amazing things you'll do. Maybe you'll own your own business, or you'll find your dream job. Some of us will start a family, or rescue a dog, live in Green Bay, or live in a different country. These are your decisions, and this is your future. Only, it's not just the future anymore. It's now. We'll all carry a little piece of Southwest with us wherever we go whether it's memories of art class, Friday night football games, rehearsals for the musical, FFA competitions, or getting that perfectly baked cookie every Wednesday, we've all made Southwest our own. Now it's time to do the same with the rest of our lives. Go out and make wonderful new memories. Climb a mountain, develop an app, make the perfect souffle. Be brave, talk to someone you disagree with, and learn to see things from their perspective. This may be cliche, but I'm going to say it anyway. From this moment forward, make the most of every day and seize every opportunity life sends your way. This is our time. 
I wish each and every one of you peace, success, and a life filled with love and laughter. High school may be ending, but the rest of your amazing journey is just beginning. Thank you. Our final commencement speaker is everyone's favorite swimmer and the voice of Southwest. Please welcome John Gans. Good afternoon, Southwest. I've repeated that phrase over 100 times in the last year as the voice of Southwest. And oh, by the way, Today is National Repeat Day. <laughs> I'm up here today because for as long as I can remember, my dad has repeated the same phrase to me over and over, be comfortable being uncomfortable. With this being National Repeat Day, I would like to take this opportunity to repeat some of the best advice that I have gotten in the last 18 years in hopes that you will find it useful and it will bring success to you. Now, as always, visual aids are always helpful in public speaking. So I brought a couple of props to help me make my points. Prop number one, antiperspirant, invented by Everdry in 1903. See Southwest, it takes hard work to reach your goals and working hard can be uncomfortable. In the quest to become comfortable being uncomfortable, you may sweat. I challenge you to sweat, to attack your goals physically and academically. Sweating shows that you are alive, that you are working hard and that you're heating up a path in this world. So work up a sweat. You can always reapply. <laughs> Prop number two is the microphone. You don't need to be the one behind the mic to have a voice. Use your voice. And by that, I mean, say your opinion, offer some advice, help someone, give a compliment. In sixth grade, someone at the YMCA complimented me on my freestyle, and I believe that compliment and went on to become the swimmer that I am today. Use your voice to ask a question, apologize, stand up for someone with your voice. Your kind word may be the only one heard by someone on a given day. Make your voice worth hearing. Share ideas and think before you speak. Your words can be powerful, use them for good. And if you are unable to speak, write. Which brings me to my next prop. A thank you card. It is humbling to think of the amount of time, effort, sacrifice, money, and love that goes into raising a child. Family, teachers, church leaders, and many other community members have helped us along the way. To all of these people, we owe a huge thank you. The thank you card is to remind us to take time to thank these people. Often, all they really want is a hug or a simple sign of appreciation. There are over 270 students here today. I challenge each of you to take the time to write one thank you card to a teacher that has made an impact in your life. These people need and deserve our appreciation. When someone does something for you, take the time to write a note. The impact has a lasting effect. The last prop is the most important, and yet it is invisible. It is a thing called faith. I personally believe in a God who has created each one of us to be unique. We have been given gifts, talents, and strengths that set us apart from each other. There is no one like you with your set of gifts. You have a unique purpose. Find that purpose. You are valuable no matter what you decide to contribute to our society as long as it is a positive contribution. So in summary, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Work hard and sweat. Use your voice, show gratitude, have faith, and then repeat. So for the last time, have a great day, Southwest, and go Trojans. Next, we will listen to the Southwest Choir under the direction of Mr. Brandon Rockstro.
Now, please welcome our wonderful principal, Mr. Rodney Bohm, to the podium to recommend our class. I liked wonderful. That was nice to hear. All right, good afternoon, and welcome to Southwest High School's 53rd graduation ceremony. And congratulations, seniors, class of 2018, for this special day. To begin, I'd, I'd like to uh, welcome some special guests that are with us. First of all, I would respectfully ask all members of the armed forces to please stand along with our seniors that are going to be serving in the armed forces. If you would also please stand. We thank you for the sacrifices to ensure our freedom, and you are heroes. Next, I'd like to introduce and welcome our superintendent, Michelle Langenfeld. We have two board members with us as well. We have Katie Maloney and Rhonda Sitnikau. Also somewhere, and I was not able to find them, they're around here somewhere, we have our associate superintendents, Vicki Bayer and John Magus. We also have our Executive Director of Secondary Schools, Tom Ho, here is with us today. In addition to our awesome faculty honor guard from Southwest High School, we have our administration, Travis Lipsch and Jeff Van Lannen, along with Amy Hogan, our Activities Director. And I understand that Senator Coles is also with us today. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Seniors, you are here because of all the family and friends around you and the staff members. Please, why don't you show your appreciation for them? This is truly a special day for all of us here at Southwest and that are all of us that are here at the UWGB Crest Center. Green Bay Southwest High School, people of courageous determination and energy, this bold statement is displayed proudly above the main office doors with the hope that during the past four years, it served as a daily reminder of two important elements that are needed to lead you in the right direction of success and to ultimately be at your best. On behalf of the Southwest High School staff, I am proud to profess that these graduates have achieved tremendous levels of success by definition and through their actions. During their time at Southwest High School, our students and staff have worked in unison to create opportunities to learn, grow, and succeed. The class of 2018 has countless examples of individual, group, and team successes. There are a couple that I would like to highlight very quickly. Number one, our senior class has earned over 19,000 service learning hours. 19,000 hours equates to 475 work weeks. That's nine years without a vacation of work that you have dedicated to our community. Thank you, class of 2018. That is amazing. In addition, they have earned $1.3 million worth of scholarships which brings our total over the last eight years up to $12.2 million of scholarships awarded to the Southwest graduating class. I would like to credit them for one more accomplishment because for one day I had the world's greatest office and it happened because of you. I got to eat lunch with 400 students every hour and that was fantastic, but I'm no longer in there but I appreciated it. All right, after today, the high school chapter of your life story will be written, and it should be used as a springboard to the next chapter of your life. That immediately begins as you leave the UWGB Crest Center with your family and friends. This chapter must have elements of lessons learned from high school and be filled with highlights of new areas of growth. 
achievements, and success. It is time to be more mindful and more focused, more caring and aware of your world, even more grateful and full of grace, and the list goes on. We all hope your next chapter is full of story after story of happiness and joy and fulfillment and, of course, success. However, there will be difficult times ahead as well. You may find yourself in a moment where you are questioning yourself, asking the question, can I do this? Can I really do this? You may feel empty, insignificant, overwhelmed, and even full of doubt. Sometimes the best we can do is just exist and survive in that moment. Others will try to offer what they feel is good advice by telling us to bury those thoughts or emotions. But these feelings, emotions, and difficult moments are part of being human. They are part of being alive. We need to be able to respond appropriately during these tough moments. These challenging moments present opportunities for growth and help us to gain strength, courage, determination, energy, and so much more, all to improve our lives. However, to do this well, you must exist beyond the moment. Be mindful of your thoughts. Take a step back and realize you don't need to buy into every single thought and idea that is in your mind, trying to limit yourself. You are limitless and full of greatness, and your strength and courage runs deep. Overcome difficult moments by learning to push through these difficulties, refocus, and channel the energy to something positive and of significance. This is when you begin to define what greatness and success is going to look like for you. But to help you define what this may look like for you, I want to just share some experiences that have helped to define success for some very famous people. Inventor Thomas Edison recognized that success is a grind. Edison, holder of over 1,000 patents, had an insane work ethic. He was known to put in 72 hours at a time, so naturally his definition of success is equally ambitious. Success is 1,000, or excuse me, 1% 1 inspiration, 99% perspiration. John? Legendary basketball coach John Wooden says it's a matter of satisfaction. With 620 victories and 10 national titles, Wooden is the winningest coach in college basketball history. But his definition, definition is more about competing with yourself than the other guy. Acclaimed author Maya Angelou believes success is about enjoying your work. The late great poet who passed away at 86 left behind stacks of books and oodles of aphorisms. Her take on success is among the best. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Popular author Stephen Covey said the definition of success is deeply individual. Covey became a massive success and a part of pulp culture with his 1989 book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yet for Covey, success is categorically individual. He wants us all to recognize our own worth and potential so clearly that we become inspired and motivated by it. People often learn those definitions of success or the secrets of happiness at work later in life and wish they had discovered them much earlier in their career. To avoid this, we need to learn from the best, take some of their advice. Don't stick to a rigid career plan. Part of being a leader in business and in life is staying open to new possibilities and opportunities and being flexible in your approach. The goals you initially develop may not always be the most fulfilling for you as you build your career in life, but allow yourself to continue to grow and develop. Never be afraid to try something new. Say yes to things. Executive Chairman of Google, Eric Schmidt's advice is simple. Say yes to things. Saying yes will take you out of your comfort zone, allow you to meet new people, and help you to make a difference in your own life and the lives of others. Schmidt notes that when you say yes to an opportunity, to get the most out of it, you need to be prepared to do all the work required. But this will not only benefit you professionally, but it will also help you to learn more and build connections and relationships of trust 
with more and more people. Never stop learning. Be curious and keep learning from other people and seek out new experiences. As Patricia Sellers notes, when people stop learning new information, they stop progressing or even regress in their careers. Continue to be curious and be interested in new information and knowledge, as this will help make you more productive and a valuable asset to the others in your life. Don't be afraid to fail. In the words of J.K. Rowling, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously, so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. However, while failure is an inevitable part of learning, many people remind us not to dwell on failure and its assumed benefits. There are no benefits to be gained from failing so hard you are scared and anxious for life, family, love, and your career. Dealing with failure is a balancing act, but one of the secrets to success is to not fail itself, but to overcome it and not let it put you off from that next experience you want to pursue. Think about who you want to be. Tim Ferriss sums up his career advice in a sentence. You are the average of five people you associate with most. Think about the five people that you spend the most time with. Do those people share or reflect your values and ambitions? Do you admire them, even aspire to be more like them in some way? If so, you are on the right track. But if not, think about people who do share. Ask them about themselves on a personal level and in terms of their career progression, and if at all possible, work with them on a project. The people you choose to surround yourself with have a massive impact on your outlook on life, including your career, and it is important to be conscious of this and make sure your friends and colleagues and contacts share in that. Class of 2018, as a Trojan and a person of courageous determination, I've referenced Stephen Covey before. He talks about something that resonates with me, he talks about everyday greatness. Greatness, a greatness that tends to be more quiet by nature, one that generally escapes the headlines, yet it is the greatness that, in my opinion, is deserving of the highest honor and even of more respect. Everyday greatness has to do with character and contribution. Everyday greatness is a way of living not a one-time event. It says more about who a person is than what a person has, and is portrayed more by the goodness that radiates from a face than from the title on a business card. It speaks more about people's motives than about their talents, more about small and simple deeds than about extravagant accomplishments, and everyday greatness is humble. After this afternoon, each of you will go your separate way with the opportunity to live a life of greatness and success at home, at work, in college, or in the community. But no matter what your circumstance may be, such a decision can be made by each one of you. You have the power to make a new tomorrow and to decide to live a great life. Seniors, you are what is right in this world. Each of you have inspired us, touched our hearts, and give us tremendous hope for a brighter tomorrow. We are better people because you have come into our lives. In closing, even though after this afternoon each of you will go in your different direction, I hope you will keep in your heart and carry with you during your life's journey the Green Bay Southwest Trojan vision. Together we will pursue learning, build confidence, demonstrate pride, create opportunities, encourage acceptance, and inspire greatness. Keeping these as priorities in your life will help you to recognize abundance, see possibilities, stretch yourself to the edge so that you can be at your best for the world. And quite honestly, Southwest Class of 2018, the world needs you to be difference makers and to be at your best. On behalf of the entire Southwest High School staff, I would like to congratulate the Class of 2018 and wish you all a lifetime of happiness.
And now I get to recommend the Green Bay Southwest High School Class of 2018. Superintendent Michelle Langenfeld, as principal of Green Bay Southwest High School, I'm very pleased and proud to recommend to you for graduation the Southwest High School Class of 2018. Records certifying their graduation status are on file at Southwest High School. They are our hope of yesterday, our joy of today, and our guarantee of a better tomorrow. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I have the honor and privilege of looking at these faces of these extraordinary young men and women that sit before us. And I want to congratulate you, the graduates of the class of 2018, and also to extend a warm welcome, and it's getting warmer, I can tell, um, a warm welcome to all of you, our honored guests who are here today who have not only joined us for the celebration today, but also have helped shepherd these young men and women to the extraordinary day that we celebrate. Our mission in the Green Bay Area Public Schools is to educate every child every day to be college, career, and community ready, inspired to succeed in our diverse world. And what that really means to us is that we will provide for students the very best that we can so when they walk out the door, they have the skills and the opportunities available to them to choose a two-year pathway or a four-year pathway to college, to enter the military, as we witnessed today, a number of our students have chosen that pathway, or to go on and go into a career. Students, this is a very important day for you. And I know it's been mentioned numerous times already, but I can't stress it enough. I join you in owing a great debt of gratitude to the adults that have helped you get to this critical point in your lives. So if you would be so kind is to please join me in acknowledging all of your family and friends who are here today, the extraordinary staff from Southwest and administrators, as well as any and all significant adults who made this day possible. Please join me. So, I was thinking about reflecting on what has happened since these graduates were born, and I realized the class of 2018 is the first class where most, if not all, of the students have only lived in the year 2000s, and most of their lives in the 21st century. So I'm going to take us back just a little bit, parents and guests who were alive, and many of us could remember New Year's Eve, 1999. It was a very uncomfortable time that we lived in at that night, but leading up to that time, everyone was talking about something called Y2K, and that was an abbreviation for the year 2000, and what people were very concerned about was the fact that they didn't know what would happen to all of our technology and computer programs when that 99 shifted, would it take us back to 1900? Would the electrical grid shut down? Would stores be closed? Nobody knew what was going to happen. And so it was a great concern. And that was ready right before you came. And so what did people do? Well, some of us just trusted the technology. Folks would get it right, and we'd see what happened tomorrow. Others went out and bought generators in case the grid went down. Some filled their bathtubs with water. I don't know what that was going to do, but some did. And some stockpiled food. And here we are today, 18 years later, to celebrate. As you know, the world didn't come to an end, the grids didn't shut down, and we were OK. So these last 18 years have become very complex, and our world continues to change very rapidly with a number of very significant advancements in medicine and all sorts of fields. But I think the most notable is technology. Technology, for the students that we celebrate today and for all of us, has changed how we communicate with one another, how we tell time, how we keep our calendars, how we entertain ourselves, how we learn, how we see the world. And here are just some of the many advances that didn't exist prior to the year 2000. 
iPods, smartphones, Facebook, MySpace, Snapchat, flash drives, and then there's YouTube and Google and Netflix and Hulu and apps and GPS and blogs. And then, of course, there's texting and Twitter and tweets and retweets, and then streaming videos and tablets and laptops. The world is rapidly changing, and our students need to be prepared. The world is very complex as well, and there have been a number of significant and often very tragic events that have helped shape how we move forward in our day-to-day -day lives. Since 2000, we've experienced and, and made our way through the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center, the Iraq War, Hurricane Katrina, the Boston Marathon bombing, BP oil spill, 2008 recession. And so this has been a really important 18 years for these young adults who sit before us. But our graduates, I believe, are well prepared to take on a very complex and global changing world. They have been challenged to critically think, to work as a team, and as you heard, to give back to their community. Many of our graduates that sit with us today have already earned industry certifications and will successfully enter the workforce. Many of our graduates have chosen to enter the military and hundreds and hundreds of students have taken advantage of more than 100 ways that the Green Bay Public Schools offers our students to earn college credits. I know Mr. Bohm shared that the South graduates earned $1.2 million in scholarship across the Green Bay Public Schools. We're pushing upward of $4 million. So our students are prepared and ready to take that next step. So graduates, I would offer that while the world is, yes indeed, very complex and rapidly changing, there are some things that you can do that will help anchor you no matter how swiftly things move and change. First, and always remember to build and nurture relationships. At the end of the day, it's all about people. It's about people wishing they had spent more time with those they love and a little less time focused on other things. And even while our communication mode has changed, and I know my own children have texted me in the same room I'm sitting in, be face to face. Never lose sight of the importance of being present for one another. Relationships matter and will keep you anchored in a very changing world. Second, stay true to your values when you make choices. In the words of the iconic Mr. Fred Rogers, yep, you heard me right, you rarely have time for everything you want in this life, so you need to make choices, and hopefully your choices can come from a deep sense of who you are. In a rapidly changing world, it's very important to know who you are and what's most important to you because then when those pressures come your way, and they will, they'll find you. You can make very thoughtful choices about you that will serve you well. And third, never forget where you came from. Our roots define who we are as people. They're the lens that we look through no matter how old we are. Looking back, I never forget the fact that I came from very humble beginnings. My siblings and I were very fortunate to have instilled in us the value of a hard day's work and the importance of giving back, leaving the world a better place. And while my parents never had an opportunity to go to college, they felt education was very important. So students, as you look to the rapidly changing world, it's important to always look backwards to think about the roots and where you came from. It'll help guide you as you move forward. In closing, class of 2018, as you embrace this rapidly changing world, my hope and my wish for all of you is that you always recognize the importance of treating people with kindness and respect and building and nurturing those relationships. They will support you no matter what life hands you in life's journey. My hope and my wish for you is that you always are your authentic self, staying true to who you are and your values and making life choices that align with who you are. And finally, never forget where you came from. Today is about a graduation from Southwest High School. You are always welcome to return, ask questions, and receive support. Never forget that. 
So in doing so, in doing all of these things, you are well prepared to take on the world, and I can assure you that if you do these things, you'll not only be able to adapt to a complex and changing world out there, but you'll be able to achieve the dreams you hold in your hearts today and bring to the world, a world in need, your very, very best self. Thank you. And now, Principal Bohm, it is my honor, it is my privilege to accept the graduating class from Southwest High School, recognizing that they have fulfilled all the requirements of the Green Bay Area Public Schools Board of Education and the great state of Wisconsin. Congratulations, class of 2018. Junior Honor Guard, if you would come up. We are going to prepare for the presentation of diplomas. Regan Allen. John Gons. Clara Wellhouse. Seneca Barnes. Melina Casares. Nicholas Hanna. Nakid Rodriguez Munoz. Tess Ackerman. Laura Barretta. <laughs> Sashiana Bibo. Brittany Benjamin. <laughs> Jacob Coleman. Blake Conrad. Brianna Easley. Mallory Furman. Ryan Goodlitson. Micah Gorlovitsky. Woo! 
Emily Holland. Sydney Holmes. Jelena Holmgren. Justin Humecki. Kayla Josephs. Alexis Lance. Brandon Lee. Niles Markowitz. Abigail Martinson. Kristen Mason. Brett Massey. Nicholas Myers Olson. Zachary Nelson. Cody Para. Jennifer Peterson. Diana Pocatillo. Caitlin Rupno. Jaden Selsmeyer. Rachel Skenador. Samuel Switchakowski. Rachel Theory. Felix Torres. Justice Fairnick. Hadley Burtz. John Williams. Janjira Yotsirisuk. Rhonda Abdi Lahi. Hunter Abel. Maya Ackley. Isabel Ahrens. Faisal Ali. Abraham Ali. Catherine Apfel. Norea Ariano. Christian Arhorn Rivera. Dylan Asso. Jocelyn Beatty. Cora Back Huber. Daniel Backman. Dylan Baton.
Daniel Bakovic. Miguel Barajas. Caitlin Barco. Larissa Beretta. Rihanna Barda. Caitlin Bartels. Tyler Baston. Simran Beatty. Isabella Bentz. Micah Bernke. Bryce Beyer. Colton Bees. Jarrett Bolson. Julia Bolson. Riley Bonnie Hubert. Amber Boucher. Cole Boucher. Joshua Bauk. Hannah Buhager. Cody Butchko. Alan Bunker. Presley Bush. Callista Kane. Tanner Shador. Alyssa Cheslock. Alora Clark. Tamiko Coburn. Gracie Corbett. Emily Corbley. Jenna Cornelius DeBone. Paul Couliard. Cameron Crawford. Alexis Cumber. Elizabeth Cumber. Harrison Curran. Rachel Cutlin. Maxwell Zarnecki. Chantel Damp. Mercedes Danforth Hernandez. Luke Davis. Jaden Deer. Ryan De La Rosa. (laughs) 
Elena De Luca. Austin Delvo. Matthew Denny. Abigail Dobbins. Julius Donaldson. Dylan Doxtater. Keandra Doxtater. Casey Drake. Angela Drew. Hannah Duquesne. Evan Duranso. Brian Dukowski. Orion Duval. Erica Abel. Brent Edwin. Isabella Egebrecht. Jonathan Irvin. Alexis Estrada. Kaylee Farrell. Faith Fitzpatrick. Lourdes Flores. Benjamin Hollensby. Mason Frosto. Stephen Fredeen. Connor Frisch. Austin Fritschler. Hyacin Guard. Catherine Gelhar. James Genius. Maria Gelson. Alyssa Gonzalez. Haley Gurian. Ruben Guzman. Taylor Hall. Ingrid Hansen. Caitlin Harrison. Matthew Harold. Sydney Heffling. Nicholas Heisey. Kiona Hermans. Maria Luisa Hernandez.
Victoria Hernandez. Daniel Herrera. Justin Hutcherson. Ahmed Abraham. Ty James. Jack John. Javion Jones. Eliza Jordan. Jackson Joseph. Ashley Juarez Acosta. Courtney Kawa. Caleb Keener. Nina Klemp. Lauren Klima. Joshua Comas. Jasmine Kong. Baden Kosicki. Takima Kotanen. William Kreuzer. Logan Cruz. Jessica Lacombe. Zoe Lambert. Aiden Lemire. Lucas Lemire. Morgan Landry. Chanston Lanier. Alyssa Larshide. Michaela Larson Rogers. Gabrielle Leclerc. Tuzer Lee. Amber Lentz. Logan Lapine. Cameron Leroy. Devin Linares. Jaslyn Lindsay. <laughs> Ashley Locke. Brandon Lohr. Brandon Lord. Kane Lugardo. Ty Markowitz. Allison Martins. K. 
Caitlin Martin. Anthony Martinski. Owen Matsky. Grace McDonald. Charles McIntyre. Janelle Mert. Darren Meyer. Madison Milky. Bryce Miller. Cole Milton. Japricia Mitchell. Bailey Moore. Odessa Morgan. Tilly Mua. Jared Moyer. Abdi Malik Muhammad. Michael Naples. Kiana Neal. Sim Nelson. Grace Nudek. Abigail Newman. Anthony Norman. Courtney Novotny. Kelly Knuckles. Megan Knuckles. Brendan O'Leary. Larissa O'Malley. Mohammed Jamal Omar. Alexander Pankratz. Thomas Parker. Lilia Peralta. Gabrielle Peterson. Casey Phelps. Haley Phillips. Sylvia Pierce. Olivia Pigman. Jacob Padola. Megan Prize.
Anna Rankin. Derek Rain. Zachary Ranke. Kayla Renard. Christine Reyes. Steele Richardson. James Ridgeway. Brian Rios Arias. Shelby Robb. Dalen Rudisell. Nicole Reda. Darian Rugg. Joseph Rupps. Jermaine Running Bear. Alexa Rush. Brian Sanchez. Noah Schmidt. Brant Shuffleman. Christopher Skaletsky. Lillian Shepard. Jaden Sikorsky. Jean Skenador. Megan Smith. Breeze Summers. Cameron Spice. Brianna Sprang. Haley Stanell. Ash Starry. Joseph Stats. Nathan Steinbrecher. Ashley Stacious. Noah Stiles. <laughs> Jamie Strasberger. Karain Sulub. Alicia Tao. Camden Thomas. Blade Toby. Amelia Tomaszewski.
Decimus Torres. Tree Tron. Austin Vandenplas. Brianna Vandriel. Bobby Vang. Hunter Vang. Evan Van. Evelyn Benson. Jared Walton. Serena Weber. Jeremiah Webster. Jordan Westcott. Allison White. Nathan Wicker. Claudia Weed. Christopher Williams Johnson. Noah Wisniewski. Brandon Waracek. Chi Ia Zhang. Mai Zhang. Mo Zhang. Mukta Zhang. Kiana Yang. Naya Yellowbird Stevens. Bryce Zacharias. Hannah Zelinski. Savannah Dodge. Okay, class of 2018, it's time to make it official. Faculty and students, please rise. All right, seniors, on a count of three, move your tassels from the right to the left. One, two, three.